year. Time to go on vacation. But a trip is only perfect if it's stress-free. If your hair is taking up 99% of your problems, well then you need this video. I'm about to explain the exact beauty products that you need to keep your curls intact and looking flawless on vacation. And I'm also gonna share with you very easy tips to make sure that your hair stays cute throughout the whole trip. Because let's be real, if your hair looks cute, then you feel cute. And if you feel cute, then you can take cute pictures and that's really what vacation's all about, right? Right? Let's get packing. Okay, first things first, we're gonna take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale. Because I know that you're probably feeling very overwhelmed about all the beauty products that you have and that they're not gonna fit and that you're gonna go over your weight limit and that the trip is gonna be ruined. Now just take a breather because I have a solution to your problem. Now the first thing that you need, unrelated to the hair and the skin products, is the containers they will be in. And since I only buy massive size hair care bottles, I just head over to the dollar store and purchase these refillable containers. In these bottles, I pack my shampoos, my conditioners, my curl creams, my gels, everything that I can into these guys. The 100 milliliter bottle is absolutely crucial, assuming that you're going to be packing carry-on. Most airlines have a liquid limit in your carry-on of it not exceeding 100 milliliters. But see, I notice that they never limit how many 100 milliliter bottles you can have. Therefore, the system, pack whatever you need, however many you need, in your refillable bottles. And now I can keep these valuables close to my heart and in my carry-on. And therefore, if potentially, God forbid, your luggage goes missing, you have what really matters in your carry-on. So now, even though half of your clothes are missing, your hair will look cute. Now moving on, let's get into the categories of things. These are the categories of the products that you will absolutely need. If you are going to the tropics, somewhere where it is hot and humid, that's usually where I'm gonna go, then these are the types of products that you will need to keep your hair tamed. So let's get into the products, shall we? One, you're gonna need your cleansers. I usually have multiple cleansers that I go down with because think about it, you're probably gonna wash your hair every day, maybe every other day, which is a lot more frequent than usual. So I always bring, this is purple shampoo for me because I'm blonde. I just bring this because I know I'm gonna be washing my hair a lot and the sun could cause my hair to go a little bit brassy, so this just keeps my blonde color in check. And usually what I'll do, this is a blonde hack, is I'll mix my purple shampoo, because mine is very pigmented, with a moisturizing shampoo so that the purple shampoo doesn't dry out my hair. And boom, I have a nice cleanser. And the second cleanser I'm going to bring is a co-wash so that I'm not overstripping my hair of any moisture, but I am going to be cleansing out the sweat, the sand, the dirt, and the oils from my hair so that I don't stink. So that's your cleansers. Moving on, we need our conditioners. I say conditioners plural because you need to bring conditioners that cater to your hair needs. I'll usually try to bring a protein conditioner, a moisture conditioner, and also a leave-in conditioner. Do not forget the leave-in conditioner. And if you don't want to bring all three because it could be a lot and maybe you don't need a protein conditioner or all of the above, having a leave-in conditioner is a great two-in-one and it's an amazing product for when you're at the beach or you're at the pool and you just got your hair wet so that you can head over to the showers, rinse out your hair, and apply a leave-in conditioner. So conditioner is something you need a lot of. Now before you start asking, but Mel, what are you using? I will link all the products that I use below. I just wanna talk generally about product types. Make sure that you have everything you need on your checklist for a good hair day. And if you need further help of figuring out which type of products work for which climates and for your hair type, make sure you check out my seasonal routines. You will be able to find those video links in the description below. Moving on, you will want to bring a treatment. This is a routine I like to do. Let's take a look at day one. Day one, I went swimming, I played in the sand, my hair was a hot mess. I go back to my room, I shower and I'm doing a thorough shampoo. So I'm gonna be using 
my purple shampoo or whatever good cleanser that I have. And because I just did a deep cleanse, I'm going to use a mask treatment. Now there's a lot of different mask treatments out there. I like to use one that is fast acting because let's be real, you're on vacation. You don't want to be spending a whole lot of time on your hair. So pick a mask that's going to work in three to five minutes and then rinse it out. So I will do a mask and a treatment on the days that I get a good cleanse. And then on the other day, when you know you only need a light cleanse, that's when you would co-wash and do a leave-in conditioner. And then proceed with your styling. So those are really the two types of wash days that you will be having on vacation. Got it? Get it? Good. After that, really what you need is your stylers. And by stylers, I mean a curl cream and a gel. Or is it a foam? and a gel. For my high porosity hair, and for high porosity hair in general, you do need a cream because it needs that moisture to hold it down, and a gel. But if you have low porosity hair, you're probably able to skip the curl cream and go straight into using a gel. But a gel is absolutely crucial so you can get a cast. If you can't give your hair hold, your curls do not stand a chance in humidity. So once you make sure you have your stylers, which is your curl creams and your gels and or foams, then you need your finishers, your finishing products that will seal everything in. One that I use and one that I love when I'm on vacation is this BB Curl. This has UV protectant in it. Anything with UV protectant in it is absolutely key. So that's why I'm pointing out this one. And I have also used a damage control spray that has UV protectant in it. And you can see here, I carry it in my little travel bottle. So these things I will spritz throughout my hair when I'm heading to the beach. When I'm sunscreening my skin, I sunscreen my hairs. Okay, so next we're gonna be talking about the tools that you need to enhance all of your styles when you're on vacation and to make your life a whole lot easier. Now, the number one misconception when you're on vacation is that it's so much easier to just let your hair air dry. This is a myth. I tested this theory out and anytime I let my hair try to dry when it was humid, think about it, there's humidity and moisture in the air and I want my wet hair to dry in that. My hair was a frizz ball. My hair was super soft and moisturized, but it didn't have the curl definition that I wanted. Now if you are trying to achieve good definition, then I recommend you bring a universal diffuser. And if you don't have a universal diffuser, whilst I was on vacation and I needed a diffuser, because hotel rooms never have them, we bought a little sandbox kit, and in the sandbox kit was this little strainer for finding seashells, and I thought, wait a tick, I'm going to use this to diffuse my hair. I just use this. So if you don't have a universal diffuser, and you don't have this thing, bring a strainer that you have, and use it using the same diffuser method that I show in my video, if you haven't seen the diffuser video, you absolutely need to check that out for frizz free results and use the same methods and then you actually are able to get your curls to have a cast, to be defined and then when you go out into the humidity, because it's already finished, you are able to hold your style so much better. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my god, but if I'm going to be diffusing, it's going to take forever. and. I don't have time to do all that. Like, I'm on vacation, I want to be fast. I totally get it. I also want to be fast when I'm working with my hair on vacation. And that's why I'm going to use the fastest method that I know to get to find curls. You know what I'm talking about. First, I brush through my product with my detangling brush. So I will brush through my leave-in conditioner and my curl cream. And then I like to take my Denman brush and I use it to go through vertical sections really fast throughout the hair. It can take all of three minutes and you're gonna perfectly define your curls while also smoothing through your product. And best of all, you're going to save time. And my last tool that I love to use when I'm on vacation is my shampoo massager thing. Majing. Don't know what to call this thing, but this is the absolute best and it gives a really good scrub on your scalp. For some reason, my scalp is always itchy when I'm on vacation. It could be the change of climates. It could also be that maybe I'm sweating more because I'm extra hot. Maybe there's sand in my hair. I don't know, but this feels amazing. And what I love about using this when I'm on vacation is as I'm shampooing, I can already start detangling my hair with this. 
Now the last few things, let's look back. Let's see, we got our products, we've got our tools. Now we need our accessories. The final thing to make us look cute. You're looking at two of them right now. One, a hat for the curls, but two, the scarf for protection. You didn't see that one coming, did you? So if you like to wear hats on vacation, use a silk scarf underneath that will protect your curls. It, it will prevent too much indentation. I mean, this really isn't the best material. Your hair can get caught in it. It's going to cause frizz. Your silk slash satin scarf will reduce all of that and keep your curls underneath soft, silky, and protected. Speaking of silk and satin, you better make sure that you bring your bonnet on vacation. It is very easy to forget to pack this because you're probably wearing it the night before you leave, but bring your bonnet with you because you will thank yourself when you wake up in the morning and you slip it off and your hair is still fresh. But let's say you do forget your bonnet or you don't have a bonnet or you can't sleep with something on your head, you're already hot enough, it's just gonna make you nervous, then at least having a satin pillowcase will keep your hair frizz-free overnight. Plus, it's gonna be great for your skin, which is probably gonna be in the sun a lot. Then make sure that you do not forget your hair ties, okay? But my favorite, bring your Invisibobbles to hold your hair in place without creating an indentation. You also wanna bring some scrunchies because they are cute and they will not damage your hair. And last thing optionally, make sure you have some clips and some bobby pins if you are trying to do some cute styles that are going to be easy. And before I go, I just want to leave you all with a very important travel tip, okay? Flight attendants, you feel the struggle worse than anybody. There is nothing worse than the air conditioning on the airplane for your curls. I can go on the airplane with fabulous hair and leave with brittle, dry, hair and skin, so I like to tie my hair in a silk scarf because while I'm flying, there's nobody I'm trying to impress, everyone's on their iPhones and iPads anyways, and I still want to make sure that I look cute by the time I get there. So I will wrap my hair in a silk scarf or even wear my bonnet because no shame, because I want to maintain this hair and it really does save your hair. Come at me bro. And the last thing to prevent any kind of disaster is put your hair products and your bottles into a separate bag. Keep all accessories and everything away. Just put your hair products in a separate bag, whether that be a Ziploc or something clear that you can see. Zip that up tight and then put it into your bag to prevent any kind of spillages. You just want to do this in case there's any explosions. And a quick hack for when you come back to prevent all of this next time is keep your travel bottles in your bag and keep them right in your carry-on so they're ready for you the next time you travel. And fin. That's everything that you will find me packing when I go on vacation. And of course, let me just quickly finish off the video with our comments of the week. This one's from Zara, thank you for your comments. And our quick question from Awilda, this was left on our summer routine video, which I also recommend you guys watch if you are going to be going away. She's asking, okay, somewhat of a dumb question. No question is dumb. Isn't putting oil on your hair like frying your hair because the oil is attracting the sun and the sun is further causing damage to your hair? Well, does it have UV protectant? I don't know how much oil you'd be putting in your hair. It's not quite frying because there's no way your hair is going to reach the right amount of temperatures. But if you're worried about your hair frying, then maybe you should just cover it from the sun so it's not exposed. That would be your best protection. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're going to be traveling, please drop your destinations below because I'm looking for a new spot to visit. Uh, and I wanna know where you're heading. And for when you come back, make sure that you check out my after travel hair care routine to get your hair right after all the damage that you cause it when you're away. But don't stress about all that damage right now. Be easy, be free, enjoy your vacation, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Peace. Amanda, did you get my fit? Because I wore this all cute. I love these pants as a cover-up. Got these on Amazon. Maestro, sun is out and I'm feeling okay. It's the most wonderful time. Why do I sing this song every day? It's the most wonderful time. Oh, it's the most wonderful time.